Welcome love bugs. It's Robin here. Thank you for joining me for another daily spirit message reading. This is for Monday, November 18th or whenever you were guided to watch the reading. Okay. So on Mondays I have been using the deviant moon tarot. So I'm thinking like I have not received a new tarot deck for a long time. So I'm giving a like, should I get another one or two or five? <laughs> It's like, <laughs> you can't stop once you start shopping for them. So I guess that's maybe why I haven't done it. But uh, looking for suggestions in the comments. If you guys are interested in seeing a particular deck, let me know. Okay, so, all right, let's start pulling cards here. I have the Empress. This is a really strange card. It just looks to me like she's sitting on the commode and maybe looking a little bit distracted and has a flower there for some reason. Um, really, really strange depiction here. And the energy I'm getting is just total disassociation with what is actually happening, okay? Typically, the Empress is this energy of being able to alchemize energy from one, um, let's say dimension or frequency into another, but she's like way out to lunch on this one. Here, let me just, I'm gonna write that down. So I wanna understand why this energy is going to be around you today. Uh, Spirit is saying that you could have a communication breakdown with somebody, like trying to explain something to somebody and they are like, you know, totally not getting it. Um, we have the magician here so i just really feel like the energy is like weird um you could have like and let's check what planet is in retrograde maybe for yourself and how that's going to impact your house of communication because i just feel like it's just going to be missed signals and people like not even getting upset but just like what <laughs> you know so maybe not a great day to give somebody or receive vital information because I just I, like what is happening where people are just you ever had those days where you feel like where did I leave my brain <laughs> it's probably going to be one of those days and if it's not for you it's definitely for somebody else okay so let's pull another couple of cards I can't stand being in that mode that happens to me if I haven't slept enough like stupid and mean like really literally I'm not being hard on myself okay so we do have the six of swords here so I really feel like this could be alleviated um at some point during the day so let's see what time we have the knight of cups oh so it's probably and I'm not getting any um any good news in the sense that this is going to wear off by 2 p.m I'm thinking it's around bedtime <laughs> you might start to perk up a little bit and feel like, oh, hey, I'm back in the swing of things today. So I'm just going to, the advice I'm getting from Spirit is to maybe watch what you're consuming right before bedtime because it could be um, throwing you off in the morning, okay? So uh, apparently if you eat any time within three hours before bedtime, you're not getting a really good sleep because your body's energy is more directed towards the digestive system rather than sleeping. And of course, I mean, if you're anything like me, you find documentaries about serial killers really super relaxing, but maybe not the best material to be watching right before bed. <laughs> I find reading is really good right before bed, but again, avoid the true crime uh, or like Stephen King, although I love him. Um, and I feel like maybe don't let people with the Knight of Wands unload on you right before bedtime because then you're dealing with somebody else's problem um, before you go to sleep. So that's going to consume a big part of your brain. So, I mean yeah i just roll with it just try to keep it simple um you know don't take on any major tasks or challenges today and just you know do your best out there <laughs> bye guys